Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to install WordPress on Name Hero. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of signing up for and purchasing Name Hero hosting. In the description below, I'll have an affiliate link that you can use to get 52% off your plan if you're a first time customer. So that link is WPWithTom.com slash Name Hero. It also helps support my channel, so I greatly appreciate if you use it. Now, if you already have a plan with Name Hero, you can actually skip ahead in the process, and I'll have a timestamp below in the description so you can just jump right to that part where I'm installing WordPress. But if you don't already have it, let's go through the process of signing up for the plan and then installing WordPress from there. So on the website here, we'll want to go over to where it says Web Hosting. And in this area, we'll see the plans that are available. Now, something I wanted to do is point out that I think Name Hero is one of the hidden gems in the WordPress hosting industry. They offer plans that are affordable with wonderful service and blazing fast speeds. They also have everything that you really need with a website when you're first starting out, including SSL, Cloudflare, and that's with Railgun, which will give you some extra speed. And they even throw in things like a free domain as well. You can see it says unlimited SSD storage, and there is actually a maximum there, but that's a great feature to have as well. And then there's some other things down here in the superhero features that are awesome, such as 99.9% .9 uptime and 24 seven support. So they offer basically everything you really need when you're getting started. And it's a very fast host from what I've seen. They're actually one of the few websites that I recommend getting hosting from if you're starting out, especially if you're from the US because they have these US data centers as well. So if you were to compare it to something that's very fast as well and very comparable to what they offer here, let's look over here at WPX hosting. And this one has plans starting out. You can see you get five websites for 2083 a month and it's normally $25 a month, $24.99. And here you can look at these plans and you get it for $6.22 a month for a similar plan. This one actually has six websites on it and a free domain name. This one over here would only have five and it has less storage on the WPX one as well. So you're getting a much better deal at $6.22 compared to $20.83. Now this one also, if you go to renew, it'd be $12.95 a month. And that's something I wanted to cover because if you look down here, you actually get a better deal the longer duration that you sign up for. So in this process, I'm going to go through signing up for a three year plan and getting that free domain name. And I'm actually going to go with this plus cloud plan, which is their most popular to host six websites. If you wanted to have unlimited websites, you might want to consider the turbo or business. And if you only need one, you'll go with the starter. I'm going to go with this plus cloud for now, and I'm going to sign up for the three year duration. So once we click that, we're going to be redirected to this page over here. And it says register a domain name. Now right here, the free registration only applies to certain extensions. So you want to see that right here when you're deciding which one to register. I'm going to go here and put in website superhero, which I think is kind of fitting with name hero. And if we go and check that, we'll see congratulations. It's available. And then we can click continue to get started. So from here, we'll show you your plan. You can just review that real quick to make sure it's the right one. And it is for me. Down here, you have options that are kind of like upsell options. You can choose them if you want. I'm going to make sure I have this one enabled since it's free SSL and that keeps our website secure. And that's what we want. We'll just go to continue. And from here, the one that I recommend getting is ID protection. This is also known as who is protection, and this will keep your domain name safe. So basically people won't be able to see your email address or your phone number that are associated with your domain name. Now this isn't something that is only for name hero. This applies to every registrar in the world. So if you don't have who is protection or ID protection in this case, people can see your email and your phone number and you'll probably get a lot of spam, honestly, if you don't have it. So I highly recommend using ID protection, especially when it's only about $3 a year. So I'm just going to go and click continue. And from here we can review our plan. You can see that it would have cost $466.20, but because of this 52% discount, we get it for only $226.76. So just think about that. I know to some people out there, it might seem like a lot of money, but if you think about if you have a store up, it's going to cost you probably over $1,000 a month just to pay the rent on a store on a physical location. So to get three years of quote unquote rent for $226 is pretty crazy 
especially when you're on this blazing fast host. So once you're happy with this, you can review this information if you'd like. You can go and click checkout. And here's where you're going to need to put in your information. I'm actually just going to pause the video and blur it out while I fill out this information here. And then I'll put in my payment information and go to complete order. So give me a moment while I do that. And now that I've filled out this information, you can choose if you want to get information about superhero specials. And they'll just basically send you periodic offers if you want. I'm actually going to just click no in this case, but you can leave that enabled if you want. And then here you can read the terms of service and payment policy. I'm just going to check this box and click complete order. And now it says, thank you for your order. You will receive confirmation email shortly. You can rate your experience if you want up here. I'm just going to X out of that. And from here, I'm actually going to get started with installing WordPress. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to the client area. If you're just getting started here, you'll want to log into your account if you aren't already, and then you can start installing WordPress that way. And what we can do is get started by clicking on this area right here where it says web hosting plus cloud and our domain name that's active. If we click on that, the two ways we can get to the control panel are right through this log into cPanel, or we can go down here, log into cPanel. I'll just click on this one for now to get started. So within this area, we're going to look for where it says Softaculous Apps Installer right down here, and we'll click on WordPress. So here we can go and click Install Now. Since we only have one domain name, it's going to pre-populate it by default. And here you're going to want to change this to be HTTPS. That will enable our SSL site secure lock for our website and make our website secure. This you'll want to leave as the most recent version, the highest number. And then here I'm going to get rid of where it says WP. This is important because by default it will redirect your website to be something like websitesuperhero.com slash WP if you leave that in there. You just want it to be websitesuperhero.com in my case or whatever your domain name is. You don't want slash something else at the end. So you want this to be set up without the WP at the end. Right here it says a trusted SSL certificate was not found. That's actually not true, but we're going to see that here in a moment once we set up the site. So if we scroll down here, you're going to be able to put in your site name and your site description. So I'll just put something like website superhero. And here I'll put saving websites every day. And down here, you'll want to put in your admin username and admin password. Now, this is important. I would do something that you're going to be able to remember, but something that's also pretty unique. So by default, most people have it as admin. You want it to be something unique that's not admin, so it's a little bit more secure. So it could literally be something like website superhero, just so it's easy to remember. Now, I should say that this is case sensitive, so you want to remember that when you're setting it up. If we go down here, you want to put in a secure password. I'm actually going to go and hide this and put this in. It may be a good idea to actually write this information down or store it somewhere else in a safe place because this is the information that you're going to need to log in with every time. Here you want to put in a good admin email address so you can recover it if you do lose it for your WordPress username and password. So I'm going to put this in right here, wpwithtom at gmail.com. And down here, we'll choose our language. I'm going to leave it as English in my case. Here you can select plugins that you want to install. This is actually a good plugin. Actually, both these are pretty good. But I'm going to just leave those disabled for now. If you wanted to, you can select a theme. But I think there are probably better themes out there. In fact, I know there are. And here we can go and just click Install. Now, it says it will take a few minutes. But really, it's only going to take a few seconds to get started here. And you can see that it says, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Now, if we wanted to log in, we can go to this administrative URL right here. Just know that it's going to be your domain name, .com, .net, whatever you have set up, slash WP hyphen admin. It's going to have this slash WP hyphen admin every time at the end of your domain name. And that is where you're going to log in, where I had just put website superhero as the admin login. And it's going to be the admin password that you just chose. So let's go here and see how it looks. By default, it logs us right in here this first time. If we were to go up here and log out, WordPress is actually already installed. But let's just go and put website 
superhero just like I set up and the password that I chose and we'll click login and here we are right back in here in the admin dashboard area so that is how you install WordPress on name hero I hope this video helped you get started and if it did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day